Well, taking you beyond the ballot for the upcoming election, people in St. Johns County will get to vote on a one cent sales tax increase. The county says that money is needed to go towards things such as road improvements and fire stations and also libraries. But the issue has become contentious. On your side, Jessica Clark reports tonight some people don't want the tax increase because they say it will line the pockets of developers. Sit down. It's okay. Blake Patterson lives in South Ponte Vedra Beach. He is voting no on the one cent sales tax increase in St. John's County. It's not because he just doesn't want to pay more taxes. He believes the county needs to tighten its belt and that developers, not individuals, would benefit from more taxes. How can we really skin our government to the bone and then maybe talk a tax increase? For example, he points to the list of projects the county says the extra sales tax money would pay for, and one of the items is a new $55 million Sheriff's Command Center. I understand the police may need a new office, but they don't need a palace. If voters approve to up the sales tax from 6.5 cents to 7.5 cents on the dollar, it's expected $500 million would be generated in 10 years. It would pay for new roads, more fire stations, libraries, and parks in the county where neighborhoods are springing up all over. Patterson and many others in St. John's County believe the sales tax increase would actually line the pockets of developers. Well, it's not a direct line, but it makes life easier economically for the developers for sure. So I'm here to tell you today that it's a false narrative that's being circulated. St. John's County Commission Chairman Henry Dean says the idea that this will help developers going forward is wrong. He says the money is needed to pay for infrastructure that previous county commissions did not make developers pay for. Exactly. I'm telling you that in fact because it's a backlog. It's not what has been created since 2018. We've he says in 2018, he and his fellow commissioners increased the impact fees. So now developers have to pay the maximum allowed by the state. And so he says this sales tax increase is not a deal with current and future developers. And that's the key point the public is missing. But Patterson is not convinced. So you're not going to fix it simply by asking the common citizen to pay more. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.